Randy Tenori, welcome to Vocal Mechanics. My name is Robert Burgess, but Bob will do. The written introduction was said as much to help me hit the ground running as it was to give you information on what is to happen here. For this video to be a success, I have to stimulate an interest. I have to get your attention. And the only way I could possibly do that is to show you how my teacher got mine. This video is a synthesis of my first half dozen lessons with her. I will give them to you as she gave them to me, new student that I was. Then I will relate how the vowels that she taught in those first few lessons allowed me to peer into the art of Enrico Caruso. The introductory lesson was complimentary. After she took me up and down the scales to check me out, she got off the piano bench and came over to me, and she asked me to locate the, jo the joint that connects the jaw to the head. She said it's in front of the ears, and if you open and close your mouth, your fingers will stumble into it. Then she said, take your middle fingers and do like this. Put the thumb tip, the, th the thumb right on the tip of the jaw. And she said that space, that hole must be as big as possible. That's not necessarily true, but I got the message. Know where that hole is. And this dimension. Then she said, take a breath as if I were going to yawn, a half yawn breath, and no more than three quarters full, because we're not lifting weights. And if I come in and not move anything, ah, Now this first lesson didn't have any particular meaning for me, nothing to write home about. This was all new to me, but I was a good student and I did what she said. I took it home and I worked the five tone scale and the octave. Ah, no more than up to uh, about an F. I was just working it for 20 minutes a day going through the motions because I was a good student. Now my head is up, not because she told me to pick my head up. She didn't say anything, up or down. This is where it came to be. And all I want to say about her right now is with the head up, it's not easy to push. I can't do this with my head up. Oh, with the head up, the cords are stretched. Ah, it's a light mechanism. Now what you see here is a finished product. That day I didn't know what I was doing, I just went through the motions. I have to inter interrupt these first lessons because I didn't have a problem with my TMJ. My temporal mandibular joint worked smoothly. Not till I began to teach that I realized that most of the population has a little squiggle, a little hitch, a little click in this joint, and it can be a problem. But for the most part, if a student has a little something there, I tell them to get on the other side. We're just learning how to open our mouth and take a breath. Ah. And we don't have to go through the joint. 